Now, Barry, go on, put yourself on the mountain, put yourself on the mountain, I suppose. No, you won't come back till you find you a fox or a skunk gives you smelly clothes. And hey, Johnny, go on, put yourself in the movies, put yourself in the movies, I suppose. No, you won't come back till you're up on the screen with the Hoffmans, the Pacinos, the Bogarts, or the Brando. And late last night, Daddy's telling stories. He's the FBI and he's bound for glory. Danger on the docks, boys, don't you know? Ah, oh, it took me six years to be sure he was a golf pro. Kendall Carson on my left. My given name was James Wesley Boyd, so you would better understand this verse. Now, Jamie, go on, put yourself in the music, put yourself in the music, I suppose. Now, you won't come back till you're up on the stage with the Leuven Brothers, some of those. Now, Barry left a note, left a note for Daddy, said I stole ten dollars from your pants. Me and Jamie going to tuck a whole station, going to give that old train a chance. Well, it is true. Barry stole ten dollars from my father's pants, and he was eight years old, and I was six. And he uh, told, he told, he said, "We're going for a ride on a train." That's they took the ten dollars, left the note. So we went up to uh, up to. Uh, Tuckahoe Station to go for a ride in a train. I was crying because it was snowing like crazy, and I did not want to go on that train ride. I was scared to death. But I felt a little bad for Barry because Barry was the eldest. And, you know, some of the eldest, they get all the attention, but the younger brothers don't notice that. He was getting all the attention from the uncles, my uncle and my grandparents, but I was getting all the attention from my mom and dad, so I felt bad for Barry because he wasn't getting that attention. So when Barry said, let's go for a ride in the train, I said, no, I don't want to go. He said, come on, I want to go. I said, okay, I'll go with you. So I, but I cried all the way. But we got up to, it was snowing, very cold, and we got up to the Tucko station, and Barry took me to calm me down, stop me from crying. He took me to a little luncheonette place and bought me, he's eight years old, he's got a $10 bill. He bought me a chocolate malted and a hamburger to calm me down. I can imagine what this, guy so ten ten dollar bill from this kid back in those years so anyway we had the i'm sure he's the one to call the cops but anyway we i wouldn't go on the train barry instead took me up to the mountains to mile square woods and he said you i said i want to go home i want to go home he said no 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 you got to go up to the mountains with me well quick come on we'll take a walk up and he said, you just want to look at this there's this little cave i can't fit into it but you could fit in you could tell me what's down there so I said, all right, so, so, so we went up to the Mile Square Woods and he, he holds my legs and I go down into this cave. I think it was more like a foxhole or something. He said, what do you see, what do you see? I said, nothing, Barry, you let me up. So he let me up and down we come from the mountain and I'm crying and, and we're walking along the street and there's a police car coming, you know. And Barry says, hop over the bushes, hop over the bushes. So, so I hopped over the bushes and I'm laying there scared to death, crying. And all of a sudden I see this boot come right next to my face and then another one, you know. And, and the cop says, all right, boys, it's time to go home. So <laughs> they took <laughs> they put, took us back to, uh, back to the house. And I remember mom and dad, I remember them standing right to my right. I can picture it right now as we walked into the house up the steps and the cops were there and mom and dad were standing to the right looking at us like that. And uh, the, the, one of the head policemen, he gave us this stern lecture about not running away from home anymore. And uh, dad and mom were kind of, you know, dad was always for adventure. He told us forever about adventures, you know. And dad just looking with this little beam in his eye, you know. And the policeman left and dad said, uh, all right, boys, you had your little adventure. Don't do that one again. <laughs> and late last night, Daddy's telling stories. He's the FBI and bound for glory. Danger's on the docks, 
boys, don't you know? Oh, it took me six years to be sure he was a golf pro. Now, Barry, go on, put yourself on the mountain, put yourself on the mountain, I suppose. No, you won't come back till you find you a foxhole or a skunk gives you smelly clothes. Well, thank you.